Hi, I'm Jessica Moore, local realtor in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And today we are going to be discussing some of the pitfalls of a sight unseen offer. So when you are listing your home for sale, something that I strongly encourage is a coming soon marketing timeline. And a lot of other agents do this also. When your home is coming soon, or even when it's active on the market, you might receive an offer that is sight unseen, meaning the buyers who have submitted a contract have not physically been in your property. This can be really exciting. Generally speaking, when it's sight unseen, especially if we're not active on the market yet, it's normally a really aggressive financial offer. But is that too good to be true sometimes? There's multiple things to consider, and depending on your home, we would need to talk about the pros and cons specific to your situation. But generally speaking, when an offer is sight unseen, those buyers haven't had a chance to fall in love with your home. They haven't created an emotional connection to it necessarily. Now, hopefully, your agent, which is hopefully me, has done a great job and we've done professional photography and we've told the story and hopefully we have pulled on those heartstrings to an extent. There's a lot that goes into having a buyer physically walk the property, see the neighbors and the community, drive in and out. All of those things are really important. So a big question is, is there a higher risk when you accept a site unseen contract. Now, what are the risks? They've put a contract in and they maybe have contingencies. Maybe they have a home inspection and radon inspection. Maybe they have an appraisal contingency. But even if they've waived these, something that is a little known fact is that if you have a home in a homeowner association, they have three day minimum to review those association docs. So a savvy buyer's agent is going to let their client know that even if they've waived everything else and you think this sight unseen offer is locked tight, they are going to have three days to review those homeowner association documents and walk away from the contract for any reason. Now, every buyer that has an HOA has that same option. However, we have to take into consideration, does a sight unseen buyer have a higher likelihood of using one of their contingencies to walk away? Now, I'm not trying to imply that every sight unseen offer is going to be a less motivated buyer because that's definitely not the case. Sometimes we have folks who are relocating here or who are military and can't physically go into the property because of time or geographical restraints. So like I mentioned, we really have to connect to find out all about the offer, all about your home and your circumstances, and see if taking a risk on a sight unseen offer is the right choice for you and your family. Now, if you have questions on this, make sure to drop a comment or shoot me a message, or heck, give me a phone call too. I would love to talk to you more about the pros and cons, because again, there are so many different factors that go into it that while it may be a perfect choice for you, maybe for the other person watching, it's not. So let's talk about those items. But in the meantime, stay tuned, hit subscribe so you get notifications for our next video, and we'll see you next week.